Professor Stuart Evans, it's always a pleasure. And thank you for allowing us to have a chat with you today. We are at an amazing facility of robotics space um, for an Emirates hackathon, um, particularly focused on the travel space. At NTTI Cube, we've been participating in quite a few hackathons, both in the US and across the globe. And we're one of few in the space, in the, in the area of mo mobility, um, machine learning, then we've done uh, healthcare related hackathons and today it is an incredible honor for us to be here and participating at the hackathon. Um, no, I, I want to understand a little bit about the partnership that you have at the Carnegie Mellon University and with Emirates Airlines. And uh, this is the fifth hackathon that is actually taking place. Um, so we are excited to be part of it, but we would like to learn a little bit more. Well, Ravi, thank you for being here and thank you for NTTI sponsoring the event. Uh, you're going to provide a service that all the hackers are kind of going to enjoy later on. And as you rightly said, this is the fifth hackathon that we've done. Um, we started out doing one in Microsoft's research lab, was the first one. And the other hackathons in Dubai and Singapore, and we had one uh, two years ago at Runway in the city, they've all been focused on different themes. Um, the themes, though, have always been the idea that Somehow the teams will come up with a startup idea and you know it, it takes more than two days to do a startup. So today we have a different theme, but we have you know Facebook over here, we have some like design students from Pittsburgh over there, we have uh, Salesforce's uh, Einstein's here, we've got Intel's Nirvana platform and Intel have been working very hard with us on, on, on this particular hackathon. So this hackathon is a little different. Uh, this hackathon we had 600 people sign up for and instead of waiting for the event we actually gave the data out ahead of time. So we're very fortunate this time it's on machine learning and so Emirates have given us a data set of 250 quarter million passengers, JetBlue on a million passengers and so uh, this hackathon is, is, is really quite different and you know we're, we're late in the afternoon here we've been going all day and really the difference this time is the intellectual engagement is, is way higher and the noise level is not the sort of cacophony of people talking about ideas but people actually sitting and, and kind of working with the data and uh, it's, a, it's a different event this year, it's really, it's really fun. So Professor Evans, I'm, I'm personally very excited about the space of applying machine learning and artificial intelligence into solving some of the uh, challenges that we have be it an airline industry or any other industry. Um, you know, speaking of machine learning and data and analytics, um, it has become second nature. Now every developer in the next five years, in fact, I was talking to a colleague of mine a few days ago and we were chatting about just this topic. Uh, what was mobile five years ago, which was an afterthought, is now a primary requisite. And I think going, going forth in the next three to five years, components of machine learning will be built into your programming models. Take a data set, apply certain models, see what intelligence can you gather out of it, um, and then apply certain creative models to actually solve the problem. But then uh, once you win the hackathon or once you come up with a brilliant idea, um, an enterprise typically has a half-life period associated with those ideas because you have business as usual to carry forth with, and that's been a challenge for us. Startups go, don't get built in a couple of days, or products don't get built in a couple of days, but the seed exists. Um, so from your perspective, working with Emirates, uh, what are the challenges that you're trying to solve today, and then how does, the impact, how does this impact the business of Emirates? Well, I, I, the number of things you said resonate with me. I, uh, we're working on three different problems today. We're, the problems are fairly straightforward. Um, we have uh, 17 million frequent flyers. Many of them have been with us for a long time at Emirates. And some of them have moved. So we don't know where their home city is. So Emirates have provided the data set and JetBlue of their frequent flyer program so we can figure out and infer from data not just where their home city is but also where they're traveling to mm -hmm. and so instead of just feeding them things back home we can feed them things real time so that was the first challenge 
the second challenge is something you alluded to, is to do with pricing and demand forecasting. And so event-driven activity does have an impact. And seasonality is, is actually quite strong in the airline business. And then the spontaneous events do impact the way people think about traveling. And so how to effectively price in a non-standardized way based on insights from the data is a real problem that the revenue folks want, want to have an insight in. The third problem was about attribution. What were the influences on the passengers that caused them to buy a ticket? So they're very real problems for revenue generation. A few learnings that we've had over the past few years participating in these hackathons is, um, yes, during a hackathon, it's an uh, intense baptism. You come in, you solve a problem, you have some really amazing idea that comes out of it. But then when you take it back, um, you know, it sort of dies down. And in order to prevent that, what we've learned is it, there is an organizational change that is required. Um, hackathons have actually is not just for enterprises, but is not just for startups, but for the enterprises as well. And if an enterprise has to adopt that culture within, then it's as much as about technology, it is as much as the same thing applies to people as well, and people and the structure and the organizational structure that you carry. The big problem, and I know it's the same problem that you're confronting, is how to make the organization receptive to new ideas so that you're not planting them in sand that even if it's watered by the senior executives, there's no way their ideas are going to grow. So Professor Evans, we are beyond startup pitch decks here. Uh, this, is, this is where rubber beats the road. Right? We are talking about real code, we're talking about real models. Uh, the hackathon is uh, kicking in high gear right now. Um, but I do feel the level of intensity here. Uh, the, the energy is high, the awareness of machine learning is very high. So the conversation levels have actually changed from our previous hackathons that we've been part of. Um, and I, I go back to the energy and uh, want to talk about, yeah. It is a different energy here. I've not, I actually noticed it as people were coming in. I think that the, the energy level is exponentially more more focused uh, on iterating as opposed to trying to sell a pitch deck on an idea that you've had 24 hours to develop. And I think that's going to impact the way things work inside the enterprise too. So I, I honestly think that we're on a we're on a precipice of a, a whole new world that's going to be brought about by machine learning. And uh, speaking of hackathons and being impactful, I should get back <laughs> to work with my team member. But it's been an incredible honor, um, and thanks you, thanks uh, to CMU for letting us being a part, and Emirates for us uh, for iCube to be a participant at this hackathon as also a sponsor yes, at this indeed. event. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you very much for your sponsorship and it's lovely to kind of have our conversation. And I very much look forward to the next one. I wish you happy hacking. Thank you very All much. All the best. Cheers, Robbie. Cheers.